Hi guys, it's Amber Cranston, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my channel and to a haul video. I got in some goodies, um, including I saved the Easter stuff I got um, to go with this stuff because I didn't get a ton of that. Um, so I thought I'd combine my, my orders, but I did get in uh, the Moana fragrance and I got in the cute little Life's a Garden set. Um, so let's jump into you to it with you guys. First off, I did get the banana berry scent. I ended up going through Scentsy Club and getting it that way. I just placed uh, an order for just this bar in Scentsy Club because I already have the Jumpin' Jelly Bean and Toasted Marshmallow um, from last year. So I was like, I don't really need the three pack, I guess. Um, so. I did get banana berry and I am pleasantly surprised with it. So much so that I did end up adding it into my club. On cold it still was is a kind of like a banana candy type scent, which I'm not a fan of, but it's not completely banana candy. And I always try to give all my fragrances a try, even if I'm cold, I'm not sure about them. So I did melt it and I loved it when it was melting. You guys, it is really, really nice. It smells to me like a strawberry banana smoothie. That's what it smells like. The strawberry comes out more in, when, it, when it's melting, it comes out more. Um, but still, I would say the banana is probably the more prominent note, but it doesn't come across as extremely candy-ish when it's melting. It's like a creamy banana with um, a undertone of strawberry to it as well. It's really nice. I liked it. So I did add it to my club, officially to my club. Um, I'll probably only keep it in for a couple, couple club rounds but um, I like it enough to get it a couple, a couple more bars. So that's Banana Berry. And then also from the Easter collection, the only other two things I got were the pods. So it came in Berry Bright and Sugared Strawberry. I think these are still available. Don't quote me on it, unfortunately, because they might not be, but Berry Bright is a really nice like blue raspberry type of fragrance. And I really like it in the pods. It's very nice. And then sugared strawberry is like a, it's like a strawberry candy. Not completely strawberry candy, um, but not completely authentic strawberry either. It's got kind of somewhere in the middle of all that. Um, it's nice. Not my favorite a strawberry scent, but I enjoyed it enough to get it in the pods. So that's sugared strawberry. Okay, from the Moana collection, I wasn't in time to get Pua. It jumped, he jumped from my cart before I could place the order, but I did still get um, the wax bar Moana Spirit of Montanui. So let me read the notes because it's kind of, it's green, it's green and melon. Let me see. Watery melon, pineapple, and plumeria depict a lush island paradise rich with tradition. I do get like some green type net notes. Not necessarily floral, but kind of think of along those the lines of like sea salt and avocado or aloe vera and ivy. Kind of that vibe along with a melon. I'm not really getting pineapple on cold anyway, but it's like a melon along with that like aloe vera and ivy type of green type vibe. Um, so that's Moana Spirit of Montanui. We'll see how it does when I melt it. All right, so I got the Life's a Garden wax uh, kit, the wax collection, and it comes with all the various notes on there. 
and a cute, adorable little bag. This one is still available to order. It also came with this cute little seed packet for basil and parsley seeds. So you can plant your own little kitchen garden. So that's really cute. Okay, so first one out of the bag is apple and parsley. Let me read the notes. Fresh picked parsley brings a subtle crispness to tart apple and a luscious layer of juicy pear. It is definitely herbal. I do get like apple and that parsley. There's a sharp herbalness to it. It almost smells like there's lemon, but maybe it just it's the combination of the apple and the parsley. I really don't get pear. Different, definitely. I think that would be a good like air cleanser type fragrance. Okay, the next one is chamomile daisy. Bright lemon zest warms to a tranquil tea-inspired blend of chamomile flowers and fresh-picked daisy. You get the lemon, definitely, in this one. I think the lemon kind of overpowers everything else. I'm not getting much in the way of the chamomile or the daisy. I'm only smelling that lemon zest. Um, not bad, but we'll see how it does. Hopefully, hopefully those other notes will come out when it's melting. Okay, next is lavender violet. This is a sweet, a swirl of sweet spun sugar takes garden grown lavender and violet to alluring marshmallow depths. So this is supposed to be probably a little bit like lavender marshmallow. Um, from Bath and Body. I get herbal lavender. There's not much in the way of sweetness. It's mainly herbal lavender. And I'm not getting really the violet either. Mm, I guess it kind of is a tiny bit peppery. I'm not huge. I'm not a big fan of violet. So if I don't smell violet, that's okay with me. There is a touch of sweetness. I think the strongest note is the lavender though. So that's that. Lavender violet. Next is pineapple mint. This is juicy pineapple, fresh orange, and refreshing spearmint of a crisp twist on tropical. Oh yes, you do get pineapple and you get that garden mint. It's a garden mint, um, authentic, herbally mint. I'm not huge into that scent. That herbally mint. It's not bad though with the pineapple. We'll see. So that is pineapple mint. I think that one would be another one that's, all these kind of are like ones, well, except the lavender, but the other three are kind of, I feel like will be good cleansing type fragrances. Okay, this last one is strawberry basil. And can I just say how cute these labels are? They're so adorable. Okay, so this is fresh green basil, garnishes strawberry and raspberry for a dreamy on the vine vibe. This is the lightest, I can tell. I think this is gonna be, you do get that basil with the strawberry. It's an interesting combination. It does bring a more fresh, authentic note to the strawberry. 
but it's not super strong, so we'll, we'll see. Um, out of these, I don't know. I'm trying to decide which one I think I like the best. I'm actually leaning towards the chamomile daisy, even though all I really smell is lemon. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of getting some chamomile. Um, but we'll see. Like I said, when they melt, they come across differently. So we will see how these are when they melt. And I will report back to you guys. So there you go, you guys. So um, the pods, I'm pretty sure, are available. And the Life's a Garden Wax um, is still available. And you can purchase them individually. The Banana Berry, you can only get through Scentsy Club. So if you're interested in that, order it that way and you can always cancel it after it ships so you're never tied down to Scentsy Club so that's a good way to get scents um, even if they've sold out for regular purchase and then as well as the Moana one it's I just checked and that one is sold out but you can get it through Scentsy Club so highly recommend Scentsy Club um, that's it so if you're interested in any of that stuff, check out my description below and my link is in the description for you. Thanks for spending some time with me and until next time, have a wonderful day. TTFN, ta-ta for now.